Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you tarot and witchcraft is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. Let's get into your readings for the month of April 2023. Let's see what you can expect for each one of the zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Aries as it is your month Aries. <coughs> We're getting ready for Taurus season. <laughs> so for those of you guys Aries at the very end that are about to uh, experience a solar return. Congratulations, my lovely. Wishing you guys the brightest of blessings. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what you can expect for this month of April 2023. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly for each one of the zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's see what's going on. Aries, how is how is the sky treating you? <laughs> are the planet alignments treating you guys? I'm sure you guys are already experiencing the major changes uh, with, you know, what we just experienced with uh, Saturn in Pisces as well as with <sighs> Pluto in Aquarius. Major, major changes. We are already seeing that worldwide. All right, let's see what's going on. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's begin. Aries, first card here is the Queen of Pentacles. So there is a lot to do with your finances right now, Aries. A lot of opportunities that are coming to you or that you will be experiencing. There is a shift that's happening um, much more stable, much more stability for those of you guys that recently just got a job or that are searching for a job, you will soon be able to find and capitalize on that. Um, opportunities will be coming to you, very fruitful opportunities that will affect and help uh, in the long term. Now, what you need to work on for this month is very important, Aries. It is about your confidence. It is about believing in yourself and really understanding your self-limiting beliefs is something that you're working with right now. Uh, this is the energy that you will be experiencing. That's if you're not already experiencing it. For some of you guys, it has to do in connection with your finances. So again, um, I do see opportunities arising for you in the material world. And it is important for you not to hesitate, to execute, to go for it. Um, don't hold yourself back. As an example, if it is a job that you're trying to get a higher level position or a much better pay, um, don't sell yourself to short areas. It's about trusting and believing in yourself and knowing your capabilities. Um, so as an example, if you're applying for a job and you're kind of unsure if you should apply for it because there may be some of the qualifications that you feel like you don't possess, Go for it either way. Why? Because again, it is about being confident in yourself. Um, a lot of, you know, interviews and even when we're trying to build or go up the ladder in the finances, right, in our career, a lot of it, yes, has to do with opportunity, but also it has a lot to do with what you believe you're capable of achieving, what you're capable of doing. So don't hold back for this month. It's going to be very important and very crucial. Um, there has been a lot of internalizing going on in your life. For some of you guys, this could be in the plane or in the field of romance and love. For some of you guys, especially those of you guys that haven't really had a lot of stability in that whatever area you've been having trouble stabilizing, I feel like you're coming out of a lot of internalization, a lot of healing for some of you guys. And this ultimately is going to propel you to be more confident in yourself, to walk with purpose, to have determination. Of course, Aries never lacks that. But sometimes our ego could be hit um, when we're experiencing a lot of difficulties. And it's really hard for us to get out of that type of energy. So what they're telling you here is believe in yourself, Aries. We have abundance unfolding for you. So again, Anything that you've been struggling with in any area of your life where you've been having difficulty stabilizing, that's going to be changing and it's going to be changing drastically. Uh, as you guys can see, we have a lot of feminine energy here. 
So even if you're masculine Aries, it is about tapping into your femininity. It is about tapping into uh, the energy of the feminine. It is about being sensible and tapping into that and using that um, to help you, to propel you to the next level, the next cycle in your life, Aries. The star card is illumination. It is being guided. It is planetary alignments. It is hope and wish fulfillment. Highlighting the Empress here, you guys, you're going to be experiencing a lot of opportunities happen for you, not only in this month, but all the way to June. So there is a lot of shifts, a lot of changes that are happening in your life where you felt like at some point there was a bit of resistance or a bit of blockages. You're going to see and start to experience that that starts to facilitate that it becomes so much more easy for you uh, to go towards your achievements, towards your goals and actually achieve them. Very, very positive here and your card here, Aries. The full card is all about, it's all about new beginnings. It is a new cycle. It is really being inspired and knowing that there is ultimately no limit. We are the only ones that set our own limits. So the world is literally in your hands, Aries. What are you going to do about it? All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus here. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2023? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. We're starting off here with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, Taurus, it's going to be very important for you to really uh, take very good care of your health, the physical aspect of you. Um, if you've been experiencing a lot of like often getting sick or often getting allergies and stuff like that, it's going to be very important to um, obviously make sure that you're getting rest, that you're taking care of yourself, that you're eating and not skipping any type of meals. It is very important for you right now. Why? Because I do see you guys uh, being more prone to health issues. Um, however, you're able to stabilize this. Keep in mind, we do go from the five to the six of pentacles, right? Um, so it's about, you know, being able to uh, solidify and strengthen your immune system. So tease anything that can be very helpful for um, whatever issues you may be experiencing in regards to your health. Um, now, another thing that I do want to mention here is what I'm seeing for some of you guys, it is the almost like the the need to let go of like not enslaving yourself to loyalty. So what I mean by that is loyalty sometimes uh, for people that are extremely loyal uh, could be something negative because it becomes toxic when. Uh, it's really difficult for you to kind of call people out on their BS or to even decide to create some type of distance if all they're doing is bringing chaos and confusion to your life. And sometimes we feel like we can't really do that because we're so loyal to them and because we love them and you want to be there and you want to help them. But it is very important to create boundaries at this point for you, Taurus. Why? Because I see a lot of opportunities and a lot of growth in your life. And not just now, but throughout the year, there is a lot of achievements that are happening for you. And you don't want to get to a point where your focus should be in, in, in yourself and your self-growth. And that is diminished by trying to be there and saving people or helping people out. So again, boundaries is going to be very important for you. We have the Hierophant here. So again, it is just solidifying what I just said. The need to, the need to end toxic cycles um, with people that you surround yourself with or people that you love that perhaps have no boundaries or perhaps um, don't really understand the difference of, you know, kind of like them taking advantage of your kind heart or your loyalty. Again, loyalty is very, very big here. For some of you guys, you may be going through a cycle where there is a uh, almost disintegration of some type of long-term 
or highly uh, committed relationship that has basically came to its conclusion um, because of a lot of toxicity or because um, your constant need to want to save the relationship at this point. It's again, it is about boundaries for you guys and it is about basically preparing yourself to go up the ladder or go up um, in, in regards to, you know, what you're achieving and what you're making happen in your life, but also being very self-aware of the toxic people around you. So it is about boundaries and it is about uh, making sure that you are doing what's best for you, Taurus, at this point in time. Now, we do have here Ten of Cups and the Emperor. So again, if you want, as an example, if what you're wanting is a peaceful home and uh, emotional stability, try the best you can to guard your energy. Don't lend an ear to a family member or a relative that is extremely toxic. And it's almost like every time they walk in, they create a tornado type of scenario. It's about structure for you right now. And again, if you can see here, we have the Hierophant and the Emperor. And the Emperor is all about being in control. It is all about structures. It is all about making sure that your sanity, making sure that your person, that your emotional stability that you're focused, like making sure that you're taking good care of yourself. And again, they did highlight health. So again, uh, a lot of a lot of the times, uh, and this is something that I see often with clients, when they are a very nurturing or very kind type of person, and they're constantly the one that the family goes to for problems. Um, it's be it's a beautiful thing because you could become you know the backbone for a lot of people and that is beautiful but at the same time you got to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you're not allowing people to get into your energy that are only creating chaos in your life um with the seven of swords here and the two of cups we go back to the same conversation i feel like for this month it's going to be very crucial for you to ask yourself taurus Am I sacrificing? And if you are sacrificing, how much am I sacrificing of myself, of my peace, of my sanity, of my well-being? Um, how much am I sacrificing of that to be there and help people or to like if there is no reciprocation, if what you do for people is lend them an ear, it's give them advice, it's be there for them, it's pick them up at two in the morning when they call you. Whatever the situation is, what they're telling you here is about creating boundaries. Why? Because you're about to set on a new beginning that is going to bring to you a lot of opportunities and a lot of stability. You do not want to be in that position and have people around you that are extremely toxic that could potentially jeopardize those opportunities for you. And yes, this could even mean relationship wise. So again, really really create boundaries right now all right my lovelies now let's go to gemini let's see what's going on with gemini sun moon raising venus sorry you guys i completely forgot to shut my phone off all right here we go gemini sun moon raising venus what is unfolding for gemini's sun moon raising venus for the month of april 2023 Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Let's begin. We have the Knight of Swords here. A lot of communication happening for you guys this month. I do see um, for some of you guys, there may be a lot of communication regarding someone that has not been in your vicinity or that you haven't heard from in a while. This could be old colleagues. This could be old friends. This could be even old lovers. Um, that all of a sudden are coming out of the work and trying to connect with you. This could be through text or through social media. For some of you guys, it is, in fact, an unexpected uh, text that you will be receiving. Um, there is almost this uh, shifting in energy that's happening right now where you're being tested, Gemini. Are you willing to go back to the past and continue dealing with what you've been dealing with? Or are you ready to set out on a new beginning uh, not looking back. So 
you may be test uh, you may be tested around this time now we have here the king of swords obviously it is about the you know being very analytical and being very much in your head about it don't overthink it gemini again we go back to that conversation or communication that's going to happen if you do hear from a person from the past or an ex-lover do not overthink about it do not don't let your mind uh get your feet out of the ground you know what i mean like don't run away with um illusions basically what they're telling you is be extremely guarded and extremely grounded right now it is crucial and very important why basically what they're showing me is don't bring the sword um down what that means is don't let your guard down gemini now we do have here the sun and the nine of swords so i guess um I am jumping into the reading ahead before I see the cards. <laughs> Spirits are really on point right now. So what they're saying here is, again, we go back to uh, a relationship or some type of connection uh, that you had with someone in the past that is going to steer up certain type of emotions for you with the nine of swords, anxiety, stress, worries, a lot of swords here. So a lot of like overthinking, overanalyzing. Um, do yourself a favor, Gemini, and think of not, uh, don't run away thinking um, about the past. It is very important to stay in the present. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are actually uh, being tested right now. It's like, almost like when we ha constantly tell ourselves, I'm ready for a new beginning, I'm ready for a new beginning, and then all of a sudden someone from the past comes around. That's the universe asking you. Are you sure? Are you ready? Uh, are you really ready for a new beginning? And obviously, if we entertain the past, then we cannot embrace the future. So be mindful of that. It is, you know, for some of you guys, this could be a romantic partner that you really cared for. Perhaps in the past, there was no type of conclusion. There was no type of... Um, there is a lot of things left unsaid. Um, and I feel like this person coming back around is only going to steer up emotions uh, within you and could potentially be very, I wouldn't say devastating, but be very like being let down all over again. You don't want to go through the same chapter you've already read. It's time to move on and turn the page Gemini. For some of you guys, this could be, uh, especially those of you guys that are having trouble in a relationship or in a marriage, um, don't don't let them don't let them play off your emotions right now, Gemini. All right, now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations or any of the services that we provide, you can click the link uh, description below and um, you'll be able to go to our online store and place those orders on there. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2023. Here we go. All right, so there is the Eight of Cups. There is some type of destination or some type of movement that's happening. Um, has a lot to do with moving away um, from an emotional difficulty or a connection or relationship that has been very difficult for you. This is the conclusion. So uh, Cancer, if you are or have been in a relationship that there is a breakup and then there's a going back and then a breakup and a going back with each other, know and understand that what Spirit is telling you here is the quicker you embrace this ending, the better it's going to be for you. I feel like at this point, it's like past and overdone. It is like uh, beating a dead horse. Um, there is an elevation that needs to happen within you, Cancer. There is a higher level of connection or higher level of commitment that's coming to you. But because you're not seeing that, it's easier for us to go back to the past because it's safe. Um, what Spirit is telling you is at this point, there is absolutely, um, to the best of your betterment, it's time for you to turn the page on this situation. The world card is here to tell you, do not fear 
uh, change. Do not fear this new beginning, this new cycle, because this new cycle is coming to you. Um, with a lot of the wish fulfillments that you've been wanting or desiring. So it's kind of like the situation where you have a person that constantly wants to better a relationship, wants to, you know, solidify a relationship or is trying to fix a relationship. And they sit there and they ask the deities, the gods, the spirits, um, the angels to change this person. Right. And then they bring to you a new person in your life. Um, but you're so scared to embrace that new beginning that you go back to the past. So it's like, though you want what you want, this person cannot give that to you. It's time for you to seek it out through other people or through another partner. And when I say seek out, I don't mean actually go out there and seek because a lot of the times what happens is when you go into this energy of seeking and wanting to find, it becomes very difficult because you're vibrating from an energy of desperation, an energy of uh, fear and doubt, and that just prolongs what is already coming to you. So though you may not see those opportunities right now, Cancer, it's time for you to embrace. It's time for you to level up uh, and date with purpose, my lovelies. You have the Eight of Wands here and the High Priestess. So it is about listening to your intuition. If you're getting any whims of... As an example, you decided to get off of work and go straight home and all of a sudden you have this urge of wanting to go get a bite or wanting to ha go have a drink or something at a sports bar or something like that. Listen to your intuition because this is spirits guiding you um, to what you seek, to what you're wanting, to what your heart is desiring. And again, like I said, understanding and knowing that though what you want may not come from the person that you're stuck on it doesn't mean it's not for you it just means that you need to open your you know horizons open your eyes to the possibilities and opportunities um and the nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles is highlighting here the high priestess for those of you guys that recently became single or that recently will become single enjoy your singlehood cancer enjoy it why because i don't see you guys being single for too long so again uh fully immerse yourself in self-love immerse yourself for others of you this could be related to finances perhaps you're walking away from a situation that is a dead end they're not really really helping you grow they're not really helping you um you know continue going up the ladder it's time for you to branch out it's time for you to not set any limits for yourself the moment you start to seek, the moment you put that intention out there, the right opportunity comes along. Nine of Pentacles is very abundant energy, you guys. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Leo. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Leos. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Are you guys excited about Easter? Do you guys celebrate Easter? Comment below. Let me know. <clears throat> as you guys know, <coughs> excuse me, as you guys know, on this side, we are very, very huge. It's a huge family. So we're very huge on celebrations and stuff. Sometimes I am, I could be social, but I think I'm more of an introvert. Um, it just depends, I think, with the crowd I'm with. But um, I get exhausted, you guys, uh, when I am around a lot of people, even my family. Um, and I have a tendency of like kind of scooping away, lost in the air, not say anything and just disappear for a couple of moments or a couple of minutes just to take a deep breath. Does that happen to you guys or is it only me? <laughs> All right, here we go. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is going on with my lovely Leos? Ooh, beautiful energy, Leo. Very abundant. Oh, very fertile, Leo. If you're not trying to get pregnant, please be very careful because I do see accidental preg pregnancies happening here. Um, what they are showing me is a lot of abundant energy. A lot of opulence is what I'm seeing. So for some of you guys that could be receiving a gift, um, you may be receiving a gift, something that has to do with jewelry, something that has to do with gold, um, to be more exact. Um, I do see you guys 
growing substantially when we're talking about finances and career. So for some of you guys, this is getting a raise. For others of you, getting a higher position. Um, I do see gifts, though. So for some of you guys, especially those of you that haven't received gifts lately, uh, you may be surprised. Someone may gift you a gift. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be romantically wise. It could be just a friend thinking of you and they actually give you some type of gift. Um, I am seeing gold. That's what they're showing me. For those of you guys that wear jewelry, gold is a very powerful, powerful energy for you guys, obviously, because you're ruled by the sun. Um, so if you are seeking or wanting uh, some type of protection jewelry, go for a uh, protection stone, obviously, but that it is uh, with gold or that is gold. That's very protective energy for you guys. Now, we do have here the three of swords and the three of swords is the obstacle that you need to overcome. So for a lot of you guys, I see it actually in the reverse position. Now, for some, it may be that you're coming out of some type of heartbreak, some type of disillusionment. For others of you, it is the healing of a broken heart, um, perhaps a heal, uh, ending cycle of healing. Maybe you've protected yourself far too long already. Uh, maybe you've been healed for quite a while, but there is fear of opening up or there is fear of allowing someone close enough um, that you don't want to allow them or give them the opportunity, right, to hurt you again. But what Spirit is telling you is you are past that energy. It is time to embrace. It is time to open yourself up to love or it is time for you to open yourself up to possibilities. For a lot of you guys, I am seeing here the heart chakra being blocked. So I would highly encourage you guys to uh, work on the heart, sh uh, on the heart spear, on the heart energy, the heart chakra. Uh, you could do some type of meditation exercises. You can use a rose quartz, place it on your chest, lie on the ground, and really use the crystal as a pressure point when you feel it. Obviously, on your chest, focus all your energy in that, and focus this immense rose or pink energy uh, really coming out of your heart chakra and your heart space. What that's going to do, it's that it's going to realign it, it's going to unblock it, and it's going to also help you let go and release of a lot of anxiety and a lot of fears that you're carrying, Leo. Now we do have here the high priestess uh, with the three of wands. A lot of um, advancement for some of you guys, there is an unexpected trip uh, could be a not necessarily crossing waters. It could be a short trip or some type of road trip for some of you guys. But I do see for some of you, the majority will be connected to your finances. So this could have something to do with business or your career where they may set out or push you to a training or some type of that there's going to be a need for some type of short travel here. And we have the page of cups and the seven of cups. My Leos, I see you guys having a lot of opportunities in regards to love, a lot of new connections, and I feel like this month and going into May, there's going to be a lot of people coming into your life. I'm seeing a lot of like unfamiliar faces um, that usually indicates to me like when you accidentally uh, connect with someone that brings you or exposes you to a new social circle or a new social scene. Um, I do see a lot of, like I said, unfamiliar faces, which usually indicates growing or expanding um, your social settings or your social connections. For some of you guys, this could potentially be a um, almost like a social endeavor that opens opportunities for you in regards to your money. Um, so this could be like meeting a person that uh, taps into whatever business you do and that could potentially help you. It's connections, what I'm hearing for a lot of you guys. So uh, beautiful, expensive energy. Just focus on your heart chakra, Leo. All right, now let's go to my lovely Virgos. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2023. What's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April, 2023? All right, here we go. We have the Four of Swords here, Virgo. I see you guys slowing down. 
I think that uh, the past couple of months, there's been a lot of busyness or a lot of busy energy around you. Um, there is a bit of a slow pace that's happening right now. I would primarily tell you guys uh, to make sure that you are taking care of your body. Very crucial and very important. There is an imbalance that's happening. So for some of you guys, this could be as an example of you're having trouble, um, you know, uh, if you're having trouble when you go to the bathroom um, or if you're having uh, dizziness, um, this is all in connection to your nutrition. So again, make sure that you're not skipping any type of meals. Make sure that you're getting uh, rested or you're being well rested for my crazy Virgos out there. Make sure that you're not overdoing anything, uh, whether it's overdoing food, overdoing drinks, overdoing medication especially those of you guys that take medication for a back pain, be careful, okay? Because you don't want to put your body in a position where it becomes addicted to that and then it, it, lo it no longer affects, it becomes immune um, because then you have to go and seek out stronger type of medication. Don't do that. Take the natural route. Take the, you know, herbalistic route, Um very important right now what they're showing me is uh, for some of you guys especially those of you guys that have been experiencing pain or difficulty or whatever take care of yourself or take care of that go to the doctor um because they're for very small okay you guys don't freak out but for a very small portion of you guys uh something connected to the gallbladder so you know like i said take care of yourself all right, and we have the Nine of Wands. Again, um, Four of Swords, Nine of Wands, it is the obstacle that you need to overcome. Taking care and solidifying and strengthening your body, Virgo, right now, it's going to be very important. Especially um, a lot of the times when our sixth house, which is Virgo ruled, is being highlighted. Uh, a lot of people can experience like uh, physical issues, uh, health issues coming up. Um, not in a negative way. It usually happens because it's like the universe telling you take care of it before it worsens or before it gets to a point of being worse. So again, nine of wands does indicate to me, um, you know, uh, the battered body, the battered physical body, like not really taking care of yourself and things catching up. So just be, uh, very mindful of that. You guys. Okay. Now you do have here the world card and the chariot expansion and growth i see you guys really going towards your goals going towards um achieving goals and you are definitely making that happen there is an opportunity that comes sometime in the second week of april uh this could be a some type of investment that comes to you or for others of you it could just be a higher level position being offered or an incentive some type of bonus that you weren't expecting is definitely coming through for you what they're telling you is very, be very, uh, don't procrastinate, Virgo. Don't procrastinate for this month because a lot of the achievements, a lot of the wish fulfillments that are coming for you, Virgo, that you will be experiencing have a lot to do with the fact of the direction of your energy. So what I mean by that is obviously if you're focused, and I know Virgos don't have a problem with that, but if you're focused and you actually take charge or you actually take the moves or make the moves that are necessary um you're definitely going to see a lot of results from that and a lot of that result is going to be very financially um great honestly <laughs> with the chariot and the nine of cups a lot of abundance so again don't drop your bag virgo very important okay because they're saying whatever it is that you're trying to make happen you will complete it but you need to maintain that that you know that focus if you guys are starting a business or have started a business and you see things going great, don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable, you guys. Keep putting, you know, keep putting that action, keep making it happen because more opportunities will soon follow. Now, if you sit in an energy of complacent men, then you're going to be feeling very let down. Why? Because things were going good and all of a sudden they stopped, but they stopped it because you were the one that got distracted. Okay. All right. Now let's go to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Libra, how are you guys experiencing these planetary changes? 
I'm sure a lot of you guys are really feeling it. Some in the positive, right? Some not so positive, but don't worry. As it progresses, um, it is ultimately to the betterment of all of us. All right, here we go. Libra, your first card here is the High Priestess. I see revelations happening, um, Libras. Um, this is like getting news of information that perhaps you were not aware of. Um, I feel like there was, and this doesn't necessarily have to affect you. This could be like a situation where a friend was going through something. They told you what their situation were was, but didn't completely, like they weren't that transparent with it. I see you finding out about it or hearing like the truth behind what they were trying to like tell you. And there is this feeling of like, uh, like you finding out a lot of things. Um, and this could be things that happened like a year ago. And all of a sudden you're finding out the real story behind it um, could potentially be because of the planet alignments that are happening right now. Now you do have here the four of wands. So for some of you guys, your home life is going to be challenged again if we put the high priestess with the four of wands, it could be revelations about the family, revelations about the history of the family, or revelations about, you know, your family dynamic. This could be your brothers, this could be your sisters, um, even, you know, your parents. Um, there is a lot of revelations that are happening for you guys, where I feel like for some of you, because it is in the obstacle position, it could potentially feel like what you considered stability or were, what you thought was solid is kind of being triggered right now or kind of feeling like things may start to fall apart. This could be metaphorically for some of you guys. It could just be that your idea or perception of someone falls apart because you see them really for who they are. Now, Again, I feel like we're talking about, you know, revelation, communication, information coming through for you um, could be potentially having to do with an earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, for others of you, it could be communication regarding an earth energy here. It could be fe uh, feminine energy, could be a mother figure, could be a sister. Um, but there is definitely, there's almost like a, I feel like you guys are going to be shook this month. Um, it could be rumors, but I feel like it has more to do with like your perception or idea of someone is going to be shattered. I'm going to be honest. I feel like for some of you guys, it could be that you find out that there was someone that was putting a hand on the connection between you and an earth energy. Um, that could be like, could hit very close to home. Uh, I would not for a lot of you, but I will go as to say with the high priestess, I feel like there is almost a feeling like someone putting, when I say putting a hand, I feel like we're talking about some type of, um, spell work or evil eye that was placed on you or that was placed on a specific relationship or some type of connection yeah definitely especially those of you guys that recently uh are having trouble in your relationship and all of a sudden there is like a constant not being able to like communicate not being able to um be on the same page i feel like there was a particular third person in the energy that was greatly impacting or affecting this connection, ultimately jeopardizing the relationship. Like I said, it's not going to connect with everyone, but I feel like if you're going through this, this message is specifically for you. Um, I would highly encourage you to uh, do a relationship cleansing um, just to help uh, because I feel like the outcome of it was not like destined and it was not having to do with like just natural things that happen in life. It has more to do with someone putting a hand on the situation. So, all right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April, 2023. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you Scorpios going through it? <laughs> I 
I think last year you guys really, really went through it. Uh, the beginning of the year was very, very challenging for my lovely Scorpios. Um, but I think as time progressed, things got very much better. And I feel like right now you guys are kind of going through it again. Um, but let's see. Let's see what's going on with you guys for this month of April 2023. If you guys like this readings, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to our channel so that you can help us continue growing this channel. All right, here we go, Scorpio. You have the King of Cups here in the current position. Scorpio, I feel like you're ultimately having the upper hand in a situation. Now, for some of you guys, this could be in connection to your finances. This could be in connection to career. Uh, what's really standing out to me is the water and the fact that it's not stable. It's like breaking. Um, so for some of you guys, you may feel a little bit like emotional or feel like, I don't want to say threatened, but it's a feeling of like instability or inconsistency. But I feel that ultimately this has to do with like, um, like I said, for some of you guys, this could be business and finances. But know and understand that whatever situation you're going through right now at work, whatever the work life is, know and understand that you have the upper hand, Scorpio. So I see, you can see here the Bhutan kind of that he's carrying, right? And it carries a spear. So both his hands, he's holding something material. So you have the upper hand in this situation because you are in control or are extremely good at what you do when we're talking about career and finances. So if you feel like you're being challenged or you feel like you're maybe even going through like a bit of inconsist inconsistency, maybe the company is having a lot of changes. Maybe there is a feeling of like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like a lot of anxiety about the future. Know and understand that, that no matter what, you're always going to be in control of the situation you are greatly and highly valued um, where you work. Uh, people really take to you. And I feel like there's nothing to worry about. But it is important for you to be confident in your space, to stand your ground and to not feel uh, threatened, even if there is changes that are happening. Now, you do have here the three of swords, and this is the obstacle that needs to, needs to be overcame. So again, you need to let go of the fear or living in fear or living in fear in regards to your finances, in regards to career. Um, like I said, if there is changes that are happening, know and understand that though it may affect other people, it's not going to affect you and it's not going to affect your money. This is the obstacle that needs to be overcame. So what that means is constant worry or thinking the worst. Um, so stop being a negative Nancy Scorpio. It's very crucial for this month to focus your energy on you on what you really want things like the outcome to be or what you want to happen stop focusing on the disastrous side of it and start being more optimistic now you have the magician here and the justice card it's um exactly what i just said so the magician is knowing and understanding your power knowing and understanding that no matter what the circumstances or situation is no matter what's happening around you um Ultimately, you're the one that's in control. If you lose your shit, obviously it's going to affect your energy. If you're focused and you're determined and you're like, whatever's happening, I'm going to succeed at what I'm doing, regardless of the circumstances, then you're already fixating on that energy. So you're propelling yourself to that outcome. Um, so again, I feel like the three of swords is only the anxiety and the stress that you're really feeling right now. But with the magician and the justice, justice is on your side you will prevail if you guys are going through some type of you know separation some type of divorce some type of um going through the judicial system or whatever know and understand that the outcome is going to be to the best of your interest you're coming out on top like i said you will feel like the balance the scales are being balanced right now and you will ultimately uh, carry or hold the justice, hold the power in this situation. What I'm hearing is, I'm going to be honest, what I'm hearing is uh, stop thinking the worst or stop fearing the worst. 
when we fixate on that, that's where we're putting energy and it happens. You know, it's almost like your brain is waiting for it to happen so that it could be like, you see, we weren't crazy. So if you focus instead of on the negative, you focus on the positive, then the positive will eventually develop. It will become your reality. And then you really understand really how powerful you are, Scorpio. So uh, very important right now, okay? Now, you also do have here the Seven of Wands with the Four of Swords. There is a situation where you feel like you may have lost control over the situation. We go back to the same thing. The more you resist it, the more it prolongs. Surrender right now, Scorpio. Whatever's happening in your life, wherever area in your life you feel like you don't have control, surrender to it. Think positively and focus primarily on the outcome that you do want instead of what you don't want. When you surrender, you let go of resistance and things come out to the best of your interest. Obviously, the tarot's telling you that. But in surrendering, you're allowing it to happen sooner. Okay? All right, my lovelies. All right, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with my Saggies. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2023. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Sagis. All right, here we go, Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Wands. There is movement. Uh, you're definitely taking on a new endeavor for some of you guys. This could be uh, in connection to some type of relationship. For others of you, this could be in connection to uh, your finances, your career. You have the Hermit here. So... <clears throat> They're telling you to slow down, uh, Sagittarius. They're telling you that it's very important to slow down and to be present right now. Um, whatever situation you're going through, I feel like obviously you guys are known to be very impulsive. Um, and a lot of the times you are in essence ruled kind of by action, right? And <clears throat> how you're feeling right now. So what they're telling you is it's important for you to, to to slow your roll right now. Sagittarius, don't make like don't make hasty or quick decisions right now. It's important um, to really analyze the decisions that you're making. For a lot of you guys, what I'm hearing is stop making decisions that are temporary that ultimately are going to affect you in the long run. So there is almost this feeling of like, I want, I want the answers or I want to know or I want spirit to communicate to me through signs, like what decisions I should make. Um, and what spirit wants you to understand that when we talk about situations in our life where we're looking for something godly, right? We're looking for something divine to kind of give us the way or show us the way. They cannot force you to walk down a path. You have to allow them in. You have to allow them to instinct, instinct, instinctively talk to you through your intuition. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's almost like asking God or asking your deity or your spirits or your saints to guide you. But then you get so anxious about it, you don't wait for the signs and then you just make decisions on a whim. And what they're telling you is that that up until now has affected your life greatly. And a lot of the situations that you have been through or that you have put yourself through um, are primarily based on temporary decisions. So it's very important right now, uh, Sagittarius, to be wise about your decision making, um, especially when we're talking about 
expansion, when we're talking about growth. Um, the two of wands is the desire to expand. It's the desire of literally knowing that the world is in your palm, in your hand, um, that there is no limit. But you limit yourself. You limit yourself by your conditioning, by your self-limiting beliefs, by your circumstances or situations. If you feel like you just cannot seem to get out of the hole, it's not that you can't get out of the hole, it's that you're choosing to remain in the hole. Why? Because the Eight of Swords, she sees herself minded, right? But if you look in the front, there's no swords. They're all in the back. So this is... Obviously, swords is the mind, right? The ideas and the thoughts. It is your ideas and your thoughts that keep you stuck in the situation that you're in when you can easily free yourself because there is nothing stopping you in the way but yourself. Powerful, powerful message here for you, Saggies. Five of Swords is the more you resist the change, the more you resist that you can no longer continue living the way you've been living up until now, whatever situation this is. This could be relationship wise. If you feel like that relationship is extremely toxic and it's not going anywhere, guess what? It's not going to go anywhere and you're hoping it's not going to make it better. Um, if it is the situation of the family dynamic, it is extremely toxic. Like again, the more you fixate, right? The more people are trying to guide you or even getting advice sometimes, um, to open yourself up to other opportunities or to not limit yourself. Your ego, five of swords, is like, I am going to stick to the situation because everyone is against me or the world is against me. But this is negative because the death card is calling for a major transformation. Whether you're ready or not, there's a transformation that's happening. Let go of your ego and embrace this change so that your life can therefore change. It's time for you to glow up, Sagittarius, is what I'm hearing. Stop limiting yourself. And we go back to the conversation of this. Whatever situation you've been through, and I'm not discrediting your challenges and your experiences, but what they're telling you here is ultimately you're the one that decides what you put up with. You're the one that decides how big or how small you get in life, how much you progress, how much you accomplish, or how less you accomplish, because you're the only one that's standing in your way. So this month is about embracing whatever is coming to a conclusion, whether it's relationships, whether it's a job, perhaps for some of you guys, it is a dead end job. And you are there is some type of ending here for some of you guys. It could be like an example for talking about career and finances. It could be that they lay you off and you're upset about it and you're in your feelings about it, obviously. Right. Rightfully so. But what they're telling you is embrace this energy of the death card. Embrace this ending because it has massive potential. A lot of the times we don't like to embrace new beginnings because they're scary. Yes, they are. But that big scary move is what you need that completely transforms your life forever. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cappies, how are you guys experiencing these changes? <laughs> If you're like me, we're already feeling it. <laughs> a lot of revelations, a lot of like finding out things that you don't really want to find out about, you know? Um, yeah. Any, nothing that we cannot overcome or deal with, right, Capricorns? Everyone's like, oh, Capricorns are always so in control. They're always so grounded <laughs> it's like people don't know earth right earth bound there is such thing as natural disasters fires volcanoes earthquakes all of that's ruled earth so yeah collect it until you just push them to their limit right <laughs> All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect for this month of April 2023? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Cappies. 
All right, so we have the Empress. Abundant energy. There is opportunities for growth and expansion. Capricorn, if you've been trying hard for some of you guys, if you've been trying to uh, get pregnant, I definitely see that happening from now all the way to the month of June. Um, you're very fertile right now or you will be experiencing a very fertile moment in, in your life. If you're not trying to, just be careful. Um, but I do see... There is some type of elevation that's happening in your physical features, Capricorn. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be that you are deciding to change up your appearance. For others of you, it could be cutting your hair, dyeing your hair, perhaps a new style. Uh, for men, if you guys don't, you know, naturally rock beards, it could be that you're, you know, starting to grow your beard or changing certain aspects about yourself. For some of you guys, it's becoming very proactive in your physical appearance. It could be exercising. Um, I see a lot of fruitful type of energy around you. Now, what I am hearing for some of you guys, you will be experiencing some type of communication or some type of connection with a Libra. Uh, I feel like this is energy from the past uh, that is coming back around or that you will be hearing from them. Now, this could have been a situation, again, that has something to do with, like, the walking away from a relationship or a connection. It could have been that they walked away. Um, but I definitely see them coming back around or wanting to open some type of communication. For others of you, I feel like you're leaving a certain type of life behind you, Capricorn. There is, like, an elevation that's happening here. If... You've been the type to experience a lot of inconsistency, whether it's relationships, whether it's uh, partnerships, business-wise, career, finances. What's really standing out to me here is the mountains in the background of this Eight of Cups. And it's, it's not, it's like different types of elevations, right? I feel like you're coming to some type of heightened elevation, that then renders you a lot of stability for the years to come. So any type of investments that are happening right now, whether you're trying to move your money, whether you recently put money into something, I feel like it's going to be very prosperous for you. It's going to be very beneficial for you. There is a lot of expansion here. Trust your instincts, Capricorn, when we're talking about career, when we're talking about your money, when we're talking about your finances. Three of Wands is waiting to see something happen, right? So for some of you guys, it could be that recently, like I said, you put money into something or you're waiting to hear about someone being willing to put money into something. So this could be like a, potentially a partnership, some type of investment. Um, if you are dealing with that, there are definitely that investment is definitely coming through and it's going to be very beneficial for you. Now, for others of you, again, I feel like there is a uh, Libra energy that is coming back around. There is a cycle that wasn't fully completed for some of you guys. Um, I see them coming back around. I feel like you've already made up your mind about this person. It could have been a situation where you waited in the past, waited to hear from them or waited for things to get better. They didn't. And at this point, it's like you're no longer willing to embrace what was in the past. Even if you feel initially like you are, you're going to quickly come to realize that you've moved on, that you have value yourself, that you know your worth, that you're not going to entertain anything that is not beneficial for you or anything that is not of a higher type of vibration. Because you've learned this through experience, you've learned this through heartbreaks and setbacks and you base everything off of action like physical action so I feel like again whether this sets out a new cycle in your life uh, people from the past coming back around I feel like you're no longer entertaining what you did at some point because like I said you've learned 
I, I've been often saying this uh, even on my TikTok and on Instagram for Capricorns. I feel like you guys are going in your era of if it's not beneficial for me, I don't care or I'm not interested in it. Uh, I think you guys have gone through a lot, a lot. <laughs> I know that. Um, you guys have gone through a lot for your soul's evolution. And I feel like in this process, you've learned the hard way to value yourself. You learned the hard way to know what you're worth, what you bring to the table, to not allow yourself to be entertained with breadcrumbing. That if a person or a situation or a circumstance is not going to be all the way in the way you are, you're no longer entertaining that. You're no longer interested. So I feel like you guys are definitely walking into your new era of purpose, of value. Um, there is a glow up that's happening here, obviously right here in the center, right with the empress. It's like you're not a queen or you're not a king. You're an empress or an emperor. You are royalty. You value yourself and you're not going to entertain yourself with anything that is less of your energy. Anyone that doesn't match your energy, you're walking away from. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2023. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys don't forget, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Stuttered there a little bit. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, you have the Six of Wands here. I see you guys making a decision moving forward with some plans that you've been dabbling in or you've been thinking. Um, there is almost like I see you guys closing a chapter of like being in fear or experiencing anxiety. You're coming out this month much more empowered, much more strong, believing in yourself and knowing that you're capable of achieving. What I'm hearing is there are no limits to what you are able to accomplish. You just have to accept that as your, real, your reality, Aquarius. There is... I feel like you guys are taking risk this month, Aquarius, where you've been kind of safe zoning it for a while. You've been kind of cruising by. I feel like you guys are making decisions and you are taking risk this month all the way to May that are potentially for growth and expansion in your finances. Um, now, this could be relationship wise as well. Where in the past you kind of weren't interested or you kind of like just walked away from that and you were focused on yourself. I feel like in the coming months there is this energy of like being empowered. Your money is growing. It's flowing. Like you're able to put more energy in other aspects of your life. And with the empowerment that's happening here, um, I see you guys really like walking with confidence. It may rub some people the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, it may rub some people the wrong way, but hey, if you're feeling yourself, Aquarius, feel yourself, baby. You know, at the end of the day, no one has to be your cheerleader. As long as you cheer yourself on, that's all that matters. Now, you are letting go of certain things that you were playing it safe in the past. For some of you guys, this could have been, um, again, if we're talking about relationships, it could have been like you were just not, not into the normal, not into the... Um, for some of you guys, it could have been that marriage or long-term commitment was something that just seemed very impossible or just seemed very far-fetched or very far from where you were at that point in time. But I see you guys walking away from that fear. I see you guys walking away from a lot of fears, honestly, um, because what I'm hearing is you guys are becoming much more um, confident that is going to lead you to take certain risks that you wouldn't have naturally taken in the past because you were much more guarded. But I feel that in these risks that you're taking, um, which are strategic, uh, strategic uh, risks that you're taking, are going to be very beneficial. And for a lot of you guys, this is creating potentially more abundance for your future. Exactly. You guys are building, you guys are, you know, starting for some of you guys, this could be uh, starting your new home. For others of you, it's 
obviously I do see some type of higher elevation of commitment where in the past you were very adamant about not wanting to go down that path. You're embracing this. You're embracing uh you're you're embracing what's safe. You're embracing what potentially is going to impact you for the years to come is is what I'm seeing. So I see the building of structure here for some of you guys, like I said, could be relationships. It could be uh, taking the leap of faith and committing. It could be moving in with your partner. It could be uh, deciding that you're ready to commit or deciding that you're ready for a relationship and then boom, commitment happens. Um, I see a lot of doors opening up for, <coughs> for you guys. A lot of stability is coming through. Um, you guys are definitely going towards a new journey and this new journey is having to do with letting go of the fears from the past. So what I heard immediately in your reading Aquarius is taking um, taking risks, something that you weren't willing to do in the past. Could have been because of what you experienced, could have been that you were guarded, could have been that you were protecting your energy, could have been that you were just focused on money, not really caring about anything else, like that was your goal, your motivation. I feel like you're achieving now and in that space, you're healed and ready to embrace new beginnings that are not only going to impact you now, but are going to impact you for the years to come. The letting go of the anxiety and the being willing to embrace new beginnings and being passionate and being ignited all over again. It's like inspiration is flowing through you right now, Aquarius. Beautiful energy here. All right. And finally, my beautiful Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2023. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for our Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Pisces, how are you guys experiencing these shifts that are happening? Saturn in your sign. Are you seeing a certain theme that you're dealing with as of late? Comment below. Let me know. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Pisces. Your first card is the Seven of Pentacles, reminiscing about the effort, the experiences that you've gone through, how far along you've came. This is waiting on something, waiting on the results of your hard work, the results of appreciation from your colleagues, from your, you know, employees or <coughs> co-workers, your bosses um, appreciating your work. It, it's you taking inventory of what you've gone through, what you've overcame and where you're at right now at this point in time. Very Saturn energy, right? The high priestess is tuning into your soul. So what I'm hearing is whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, Pisces, it's it's going to be coming from your heart, from your soul. Um, so as an example, if you feel like you are very nostalgic as of lately, embrace that energy. Don't fight it. Um, if you feel like crying, let it out. If you feel like screaming, let it out. It's very important because it's very healing type of energy and it is you connecting to your GPS and your GPS is your intuition. So again, a lot of things that were kept under the surface that were kept that you were uh, in essence kind of not trying to deal with is coming up. It's coming up to surface for you to deal with it now so that you can help yourself release certain things, certain energies and to be able to become much more stronger from that. So again, whatever it is that you're experiencing, if you feel like you're very, um, the dreaminess has gone away and it's like the reality or reality is setting in. That's very Saturn energy. Obviously, it's in your sign. So you may be feeling it very strongly right now. Uh, the beautiful or the beauty behind it is that with that energy, there is no limit to what you're capable of creating because obviously Saturn, very, um, it's all about discipline, right? It's all about let's not get into fantasy land. Let's be practical. Let's be realistic. But you are naturally dreaming and you are naturally, you know, fantasy. So it's tapping into your imagination, tapping into your visualization to be able to then 
pull that energy out to the world and create in the material aspect. So very beautiful energy. Pay attention to how you're feeling right now, Pisces. Don't suppress it. Don't fight it. We have the Magician card here and the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of abundance you're able to create or you will be experiencing a lot of stability, whether it's on an emotional level, whether it's financially, whether it's creating um, or getting ready to co-create your lifestyle, co-create your family dynamic or create a family. Um, very empowering type of energy. It is about really taking stock of what you've experienced, what you've gone through and using that Saturn energy to help you become much more disciplined, much more focused into making those uh, goals and aspirations, making them into a reality. Powerful energy here. Powerful energy here. Don't lose yourself in the uh, don't lose yourself in the feeling of frustration. Um, obviously, like I said in the previous video that we spoke about, you know, Saturn's energy going into Pisces how this is affecting you. Um, and it could be very heavy energy, energy that you're not uh, precisely very used to, Pisces. But like I said, the positive thing is that though you may feel right now like things are a little bit challenging and difficult because obviously Saturn makes it difficult, um, Saturn wants to know how focused you are. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want the family? How bad do you want that relationship to become something committed? How bad do you want to succeed? How bad do you want to um, become very abundant and successful? Are you willing to put in the work? So what they're telling you is try the best you can not to complain. Acknowledge your feelings, what you're feeling, what's coming up right now. Um, but don't stay in that energy. It's about being focused and determined, seeing like focusing on the end prize and going towards it and making it happen. So powerful energy here, Pisces. But again, like I said, it is about, and I'm going to be real with you guys. If you sit there and complain about what's going on in your life, it's going to be so horribly difficult. Take it from me, right? I'm ruled by Saturn. But if you say, okay, this is what I'm working with. This is, you know, yeah, it's been a difficult journey. It's been difficult. I've gone through it, whatever. I've overcame. What is it that I want to do? Like be practical in your approach of making those things happen. What is it that I want to do? I want to succeed in my business. Okay, take the steps, write them down, write the goals, write the, it's about focusing right now. Don't get distracted, Pisces, because if you get distracted, you're going to lose yourself in your emotions or the overwhelmingness, and then you're going to experience a lot of anxiety and uh, trigger point uh, depression and you don't want that because all you see is pentacles around opportunities abundance success so the ball is in your court right now pisces use your fantasy use your imagination sky is the limit and use satorian energy to really ground and make those dreams happen and you will see the results i assure you that <laughs> All right, my lovelies, I want to wish you guys all the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed your readings. Um, yeah, you guys definitely stay tuned. We have tons of new videos coming through for you guys, tons of spell work, as well as the Tarot Lessons 101. We will be continuing that as well. So till then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.